तो वट डू आई डू विच आई कैन लेबल एज आई एम काइंड बिकॉज आई नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड फॉर माई सेल्फ वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज काइंडनेस सो दैट आई कैन मेक इट अ मोर नेचुरल वे ऑफ लिविंग एंड नॉट जस्ट एन एक्ट ऑफ काइंडनेस विच इज वंस इन अ वाइल बट काइंडनेस बींग माई पर्सनैलिटी काइंड always so when someone is in need i am kind means what do i do i i help i help by i help by by giving them what they need and now just look at that scene someone needed something and i was there to give what do you think people around you today if you just tap somebody and say what do you want in life so what are the words you're going to hear from most people around you what do people need in life today they need happiness very good what else do people around us need peace acha and what else do people need love very good now we said i am kind when i give what someone needs second we are saying people around me need peace love happiness so third line would mean to be kind all that i have to do is all that i have to do is give peace love happiness to everyone always so ready yes ready to give peace love happiness so kindness is not only in behavior that someone needs food i give them food someone needs wealth i give them wealth someone stuck at work i go and help them i share with them kindness is not in just behavior someone is in emotional pain someone is feeling low someone is a victim of their own emotional behavioral pattern they're just not being able to change someone is addicted to a substance to a technology to their own ways of thinking there's a lot of pain around us and the first person who needs that kindness is so you know the first name which is going to come on the list who i have to be kind to very good so when we say be kind to look for names outside first the first person i need to be kind to is myself are there any moments during the day when i'm unkind to myself what do i do which you can label i'm not kind to myself when i when is it that i'm not kind to myself when i'm in pain so what do i do to not be kind to myself because i have to change i'm going to shift to being kind to myself because unless i'm kind to myself what can you give to people what they need but most important what i have right if someone needs wealth they may need it but i will not be able to be kind and give it to them unless i have it so for me to be able to give to people i need to have you said people need peace love and happiness i want to give it to them so for that i need to have to have it i will need to first be kind to myself what do i do during the day by which i am not kind to myself
very good. I'm very critical about myself. Self-criticism. You know, when people criticize us, how does it feel when someone criticizes us? How does it feel when someone criticizes us? It's very hurt, very painful. But people can criticize us only once in a while. And for a few minutes. And even then we have a choice how much to accept it and how much to just reject and say it's okay. It's about them. This is not who I am. But when I start criticizing myself, then I have to live with that criticizer. Thirty seconds, close your eyes, check, is there anything, absolutely anything, which I criticize myself about, and note it down. Is there any thought, note it. I need to shift from criticism to Someone's made a mistake. So visualize a scene. Two people here. One has made a mistake. The other person is criticizing them. You as a detached observer can see the scene. And what do you think is the need of the hour? Shift from criticism to Someone's made a mistake. The other person is criticizing them and as a detached observer you see what's the feeling needed at that time. The one who's made a mistake is emotionally down. What do they need? What do they need? Love, support. You know there are these steps here and while I was climbing up it was quite dark. Suppose I had missed a step and I fall down. Will you help? Will you help? Sure. What would you do? First pick me up, check if there's a wound, then nurse that wound. That's one way of living. The other way of living is stand there and say, could you not see those steps? And could you not wait for the light? Did you have to climb up in the dark? Would we do that to someone? No. Because even if you did that at that moment, your advice will not work for me because I'm in pain. When I'm in pain, I cannot understand anything till I am healed. And that's when we say, I've been saying the same thing to them repeatedly. They just don't seem to understand anything. It's because they are in pain and we are giving them advice. So what would we do? First, pick them up. Check if they are hurt. Nurse their wounds. And once I'm absolutely fine, in half a line you can say, Take care when you climb next time. And most important is, you don't even need to say that line to me because I know it myself. People don't need advice. People don't need advice. Everyone knows what's right for them. What do they need? What do they need? Pick them up. Pick them up, give them unconditional love and support, help them to heal themselves, they will correct themselves next time. It's easy to do that when someone falls physically. Now we have to do that when someone falls emotionally. Someone's made a mistake. They know what they have done. They're already in fear and guilt. They are in pain. 
and there we are telling them what's the right thing to do that's not the time it's time to be kind and who's the first person i need to be kind with so even if i make a mistake the first thing i have to do to myself is pick myself up first if i am emotionally in pain and then i start criticizing myself i probably have a wound which will not get healed for a lifetime if i am climbing up the step i miss a step i fall i twist my ankle and there you come with the stick and go tuck 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 i probably have a wound which will never get healed sometimes we carry emotional wounds for and if we don't heal them while in this body we carry that emotional wound with us into the next lifetime and the destiny of that child starts with an emotional wound and so it's very very important if we make a mistake if we fail if we don't achieve what we wanted if we face a rejection in a relationship if someone is not nice to me let the world not be nice to me i need only one person to be nice to me even if i fall on these steps and all of you just sit back and don't offer to help i need only one person to be strong that time me myself pick myself up i don't need to sit there and wait for people to come and help me i don't need to because people around us right now might not have the emotional strength to give to us they themselves are and because family and friends are so attached to us that if you see me fall you go doesn't it happen we are in more pain than the pain of the family member because we are so attached to them so to expect them to emotionally support us is not possible sometimes because they are also in pain and that's why if you notice people when in pain they tell people around them go out leave me alone and the person will say but i want to sit with you so please go out leave me alone Why do they want to be left alone? Why do they want to be left alone? Because the people sitting next to them are physically sitting next to them but emotionally are in pain. And because I'm in pain, I don't want any more pain around me. And then I prefer to go and talk to a stranger. I prefer to go and talk to a stranger. because the stranger radiates unconditional respect to me they are not in pain and that is an act of kindness not being judgmental about the mistake they have made not creating pain and worrying for them what will happen to my child just being there stable radiates strength to the other person this is kindness But even if I don't find anyone around me giving that to me then I will need to give it to I need to give it to myself. So even if I've made a mistake, even if I've gone through a failure, even if I've gone through a rejection in a relationship, even if someone's been very very mean to me, I only need to be nice to myself. about how i talk to myself here so when you put the list of names as to who needs your kindness the first name the first name 
I have to be kind to myself because only then I am kind. It's like I have to earn myself and only then I am rich and then I give. I need to study myself, then only I am knowledgeable and then I can give knowledge to others. Similarly, I need to take care of myself, I have to be kind to myself, then I am kind and I radiate kindness. People will talk about us. People will say things which they believe is right. Just the other day, we were talking to a young brother and he says, why does the world put labels on us? Is it fair to people just to come and just put a label on us and then talk about us through that label? Can we stop the world from putting labels on us? No. Do they have the right to put a label on me? Do the people have a right to put a label on me? Someone can just walk up to you and say, you're very egoistic. I'm like, okay. And another person will walk up after five minutes and say, you're very humble. I say, thank you. And then you have to just pause and check five minutes back. One person says you're very egoistic. Five minutes later, another person says you're very humble. Which one out of these two am I? Am I egoistic or am I humble? Which one out of these two am I? One person walks up and says you're a wonderful person. Another person walks up and says, I just don't want to live with you. One person comes up to say, I enjoy working with you. Another person comes up and says, I just can't work with you. But I am the same person. Then why do people have such different opinions about me? Reason? It's their perception based on it's their perception based on their own sanskars, their nature, their mood. It's not even a permanent label. That label can change tomorrow. Most important is they put their labels according to how we are with them. If you continue being a certain person's way, they tell you sit, you sit. They tell you stand, you stand. They tell you walk, you walk. They say you're such a wonderful person. They love you. And then one day they say sit. And you say no, I feel like standing. And they say sit. We say no, I want to stand. They say what ego? Finished. Simple. So if I'm people's way, I'm very nice. But if I'm not their way, then very few people are able to put nice labels on me because the world wants people to be their way. And when I try very hard to be people's way, and then I'm his way and her way and her way and his way, and by the end of it, I've lost my own personality. And then at the end of it, I say, in spite of the fact that I did so much for everyone, they're still not happy with me. What more should I do for them? Why are they not happy with me in spite of me having done so much for them all my life? Because I was not happy while I was doing it. I was doing it only to please them. And when I do something to please people, I cannot be happy. I'm only doing them, doing it to seek their approval. Please say I'm a nice person. Please like me. Please approve of me. And when I'm doing all this, seeking public approval, I'm not being kind to my 
self. I might get the approval of the world, but I will not be happy if I was not comfortable doing what I did. So being kind to ourselves is the most important thing if I need to be calm and happy. So why are put people putting different labels on me and how do I now live with these labels? What do I do? Because otherwise what's going to happen? When I get a nice label, I go. And when I get a not a very nice label, I go. And when I get a really mean label, I go. And the more I go like this, the more I stand in front of people and I'm ready to do anything to get a nice label. That is peer pressure. Peer pressure means doing something which the world wants you to do so that the world says you are a nice person and I use that line to feel good about myself. Self-esteem dependent on public approval is not being nice to ourselves. So when somebody puts their label on us or someone says something about us, I need to remember what they are saying about me is a reflection of, it's a reflection of their personality, their perspective about me, their mood today. It's all about them. I take what they're saying. You can take what they're saying, but don't take the energy of what they're saying. Can we do that? Take people's words, don't consume their energy. Hanji? Hard to accept what? I need to check, no, because somebody might be giving me very valuable feedback with an energy of criticism. Someone could be giving very, very, very valuable feedback, but it's given with an energy of criticism. Because we get affected by the energy of criticism, we miss the feedback. Because that energy of criticism hits me, I get depleted, I don't even retain what the feedback was about. I miss it all. It's like a gift. It's like a gift. You buy a very expensive diamond, pack it up nicely, very expensive, very beautifully packed, walk up to them and say, tick. Hey, look. They won't even open it. Because it's not about the gift, which means it's not about the feedback, the advice, it's about the energy with which the advice is given. And you give someone one rose, but you give it with so much love, they'll keep it in their book and save it for one month. It's not about the advice, it's the energy with which the advice is given. So when someone is being critical and saying something about me, just remember they are saying it with an energy of criticism because that criticism is their personality. They are not happy and because they are not happy, I need to be kind to them. To be kind to them, I have to first not consume their criticism just by remembering it's not about me, it's about them. Bring one person on the screen of your mind and immediately fit the line. It's not about me, it's about them. Did you see someone? Look for only one. <laughs> Everything we have to do for one, otherwise it all gets very confusing. 
because I'll miss my one minute and only looking for the people. This one, this one, no, this one a little more, this one a little more, now only one name. Because we need to understand these are the people who need our kindness. Anyone who is critical is very unhappy inside. They're very bitter inside. They just cannot be nice because they are unwell emotionally. They are the people who need my kindness. And for me to be able to radiate kindness to them, I have to first protect myself from their negative energy. <laughs>